Welcome back to Good Morning Cleveland on News 5. And eliminating misconceptions about hair and race, a local woman starting this conversation and actively creating change. On Sunday, a former University of Akron football player won an Academy Award for Hair Love. The short film is about an African-American man learning to do his daughter's hair. It pushes the conversation about African-American hair. And now a local author and cosmetologist wants to take this even further. This weekend, News 5's Jay Jarvis shows us how she's doing just that. People are not uh, very well aware of the understanding of the history of hair. LaDosha Wright has made it her mission to provide that understanding, turning her book, What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon, into a workshop that happens this Saturday at the Cleveland Public Library. So we're going to take hair into a whole new different approach. The book teaches people with textured hair how to care for it. The workshop expands on that topic while tackling others, too. The biggest misconception that I definitely want to touch on is that race has nothing to do with textures of hair. So we definitely want to clear that up. Wright says historically when people were split into race categories, hair texture was used as a qualifying characteristic. Then as society began to view some races as lesser, qualities of those races like hair texture gained a negative perception. Latif Hughes has dealt with that negativity firsthand. I've always heard growing up, hey, you, you're not going to get no good job if you wear your hair like that. They discourage whether to have a beard or, you know, long hair. Wright's workshop aims to eliminate that way of thinking. My job is to expose that and to let people know that um, it was made up and how people wear their hair is culture. Uh, and culture is, is learned behaviors. In Cleveland Heights, Jay Jarvis, News 5. And I'm here for all of it. By the way, the workshop is called What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. It's tomorrow at 2 o'clock inside the Cleveland Public Library's Martin Luther King Jr. branch.